Alright, yes, you guys, it's Iboy Roman, and this is where it all started. So, the very first time I came here to France, this is the city I came to, and that was a long time ago in 2017. And if you don't know where I am, I am in Digoin, or rather, I am at Digoin, and that's located in the region of uh, Bourgogne, Franche Comté, and specifically in the department of Saint et Loire. Anyways, it all started here, and. Uh, <laughs> it's so nostalgic just coming on, on the bus and even on the train when I passed certain stops I almost wanted to shed a tear and it simply brings back so many memories by the way this city is really small and there are fewer than 8,000 inhabitants so don't expect much but I'll show you the beauty I lived here I will also be meeting a family that I met here uh, the very first time in 2017 and that would be super cool. I'm not sure if I'll film them. I'm not sure if they like that or not. But in any case, if I film them, you will see. If not, I'll still have a blast. Let's go. so nostalgic because I remember doing a snap right here if I find it I'll show you guys oh my god <laughs> oh my heart can't take this it's really nice being here again Yes, guys, we are finally at uh, my old workplace, and I know I'm, I'm really getting quite emotional. <laughs> While being here at the school, I was interviewed by someone, and the article went into paper. And so, in the in the article which I put here, if I can find it, I said uh, upon coming here, one of my reasons uh, was to enjoy snow for choosing this region. And believe it or not, I was told that it hadn't snowed here for around 10, 15, or 20 years. And when I came, it snowed for the very first time in a long time during the winter period and here too was the first place where I went on my first skiing trip and the first time I skied in my life and yeah I'm just really thrilled to be here again uh, <laughs> it's wow it's not much but I like it so anyways let's continue our tour there is where I used to go when I want to go to the gym I walked for maybe let's say one hour maximum and I won't be going there but I believe I have some video of the sort, so I'll put it here or This was the boulangerie that was closest to my home and so in the mornings when I, whenever I would prepare something I would quickly run here to get fresh baguettes or fresh French pastry and it would be so delicious hopefully I could stop at there and buy something so much memory even on my palate Yes guys, currently we are at uh, the Museum Dock, Dock 713, great, great. And so basically inside you can find anything relating to the sea. However, what's interesting about this museum here is that it's only open three months during the year and that's during the summer period, which is absolutely fascinating. Anyways, let's go inside and see what there is.
there. So, you guys, that was simply amazing, it was spectacular. So, we had a virtual mm, a reality simulation of going under the ocean, and it was simply fabulous. I am afraid of heights, and when we were way up there, I literally felt as if I was coming down in a high place, and I was literally a bit frightened. But it was super cool, and I would definitely recommend that you go to that place. Why? It's free, and two, it's super cool. It's just that reality, your sensations are wild. guys so that is the end of our journey here at Digo and it was simply nostalgic it, it was first of all Lise Camille Claudel and here Digo were my first teachers of let's say practical French culture here's where I learned a lot about France through the very nice people here nice friendly welcome people here and through my time here I've met Jan and his mom Manuela and I've also met his family his dad his sister his brother and his brother's girlfriend and then I spent the day with their family and that was amazing. Oh yes, I got a gift. She gave me a gift because she's half Portuguese. She gave me this Portuguese uh, olive oil. It's pure olive oil. Finally, I will say that Diguan isn't the most exciting city because there is much to do. It's really small. So if you're looking for somewhere calm with people who are super respectful, kind, helpful, then I would definitely recommend here Diguan. And yeah, you will have a wonderful time. So all in all, I really like here. And guys, I really would recommend that if you were to come here, please check out the virtual uh, reality thing at the museum. That is simply spectacular. And yeah, I really enjoy being here. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you for making me feel welcome. Ciao, ciao. Get up English, only, only. Now, this is pretty nice. I can see the snow and stuff, it's all falling. Wow.